everyone, Adam of the Woo here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's uh, if I do it with my hat, the daily woo. In case you wanted to meet Pinocchio and Chip and Dale, you're out of luck, because today they're restricted. This lot is closed due to special events. Those are the trams they're using currently. Are these the older trams and do they still use these yellow ones anymore? Or are these just sitting here as a display? You think they still use those? Or do they only use the new models? Pretty cool, right over the wall over there, you can hear the Star Wars land construction. It's gonna be exciting when that opens. Monorail! It really is hard not to love this view. This is probably one of my favorite spots in the whole park. Standing here at the train station, looking down Main Street, USA. I love it. so nice in the morning, there's hardly anybody in the park. Usually it doesn't fill up until about an hour or two of being opened. And look at this over in front of Small World. Only a few people meandering around. I definitely prefer this facade over Walt Disney World. It's not a very long line on Mr. Toad. Don't mind if I do. I'm on Toad, going through the fireplace. Mr. Toad. Stop! No, I will not stop. I'm gonna barrel through this. You can't stop me, copper. You'll never get me, copper. See? Tom Cruise and cocktail? Get it, Thank you. That is all. Adam the Woo's Wild Kingdom. <laughs> Look how empty New Orleans Square is in the morning. Here's a little tip from me to you. When you first come in the park at Rope Drop, head over to New Orleans Square. There's hardly anybody in this area until later in the day. Now there's a very rare sight. Aladdin and Jasmine on Main Street? Wait a second, they told me Chip and Dale were on restriction. I guess they got off on good behavior. Do you ever take the time to stop and look at the tiles? There's some famous people in the ground here. I guess I should disclaimer that by the famous people themselves are not in the ground, just their names are on the ground. Check it out, there's Mark Hoppus from Blink-182. And check out the numbers, C74044. When Blink-182 had their hiatus, he started a band called Plus 44. This one has wedding bells on it. I wonder if that relationship lasted. You gotta wonder. Short but sweet visit. Got a lot to do today. There's a stormtrooper in that truck. Another beautiful day in Southern California. It's a little overcast today, which I'm not complaining about that because the sun was really warm last week. And now the last couple days, because the clouds are out, have been a lot better and a lot more bearable. Now compared to the rest of the country, especially in like the southern states and Florida. My drone's making some weird noise. Hopefully it's not gonna explode. This drone will self-destruct in five seconds. I spent a good portion of the morning filming some drone shots on my way to Disneyland and from Disneyland. And I went to take the SD card out, the mini SD card out of the drone, the Majestic, and it popped, the SD card popped out my door, my side door. I was standing on the side of my van with the door open. It popped out, hit the side of my van, and fell either in my van or in the dirt outside my van. Long story short, after 20 to 30 minutes of digging around in my van and in the dirt, I came up empty handed and all that footage is gone. I don't know where the SD card is. That's the size of the SD card port. It's not a regular SD card, it's a mini SD. And when that thing came flying out the side and into the dirt, I was having a hard time finding it. If it was a regular SD, I could see it a lot better, but all is lost. All this means is I gotta go out later and get more drone footage. I just gotta be more careful. It doesn't just slide out, it pops out, it flings out. So I have to be more gentle next time. You learn from experience. 11 year old Dakota made me this. I love it. There's the Hollywood sign, there's my van. These shoes have served me well, but it's time.
Not bad. If you listen closely, you can hear the remote beeping. That's because it's too close to the tree. Now it's beeping like crazy because I'm really close. Listen to how fast it's beeping. The drone is right there. This is just about the windiest conditions that I've flown this in so far. But when it starts to go up, it definitely starts to like teeter back and forth. It doesn't sway off course and go way off course, but the gimbal on this thing is so smooth, you would never know that there was any ounce of wind. And as high as you take it up, when you bring it back down, it's always in the same spot, give or take an inch. It never sways off course. And I was also told that this thing will never fall from the sky. Once the battery starts to get to a certain point when it's about to die, it will automatically, by default, come home. It sets the point on this remote, your home point, when you first calibrate it and spin around in a circle with it, it calibrates something inside this. This crazy technology that we are dealing with in 2016 blows my mind. It's amazing. So when it starts to run out of power, it will automatically come back to the ground. Even if you lose signal from this, it will still come back home. So the fact that it will fall on a car or on top of someone, all of that will not happen. The technology exists now to where they have fixed all those issues and that just completely, completely blows my mind. It's amazing. Part of the reason I'm using the drone every day, it's a learning process. That way when I leave California in three weeks, gosh, it's hard to believe, it's three weeks from now, I will be departing California. When I leave, some of the areas I'm gonna to go to, there will not be people, there will not be cars. It'll be in the middle of nowhere, really secluded areas. And I don't wanna get there and not know how to use the drone. So basically I'm learning now, but soon, you will discover the power of this fully armed and operational, Majestic. That's the name of the drone, by the way. People keep asking. It's called the Majestic. I don't think that truck was supposed to turn in the main entrance. I think he took a wrong turn. Imagine if you were woken up from a slumber by this guy right here. If he was just creeping over your bed and then as you opened your eyes barely, he was screaming at you with that painted face and that garland around his neck and holding some sort of fly swatter thing. For real. Am I the only one that's terrified by this guy? This has to be one of the most hideously disgusting looking signs I've ever seen. Like what is on, what is on the glass? I hope that's not what I think it is. I hope that's not what I think it is. Ooh, I should just step back. Is that slightly, slightly disgusting? Stopped off at Walmart for a second. That sunset's beautiful though. And you're beautiful too, Van. You're beautiful too. I had to get some water and another one of these cords, phone charger. It'd be a lot more beautiful if my windshield was clean. They finally got this little mall completed. I don't think it's open, but they got this structure built. They've been working on this thing here in Buena Park for like three years now. Finally got it done. I haven't eaten yet today, so I'm gonna go get some dinner. I'm on my way to get some pho or pho, depending how you pronounce it. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you live in Southern California, especially around Anaheim, Buena Park, and you consider yourself a self-proclaimed aficionado of Vietnamese cuisine, pho and pho, I'm gonna show you my favorite place. It's called Pho 21, and it's up here in this little plaza. This place is probably my number one spot in the greater Los Angeles area. There's two or three other places that come close, but this is my favorite spot. You heard it here first, folks. Pho 21, amazing. Is it some sort of a cracker or some sort of a cookie? Anybody ever had these? They look good, but I'm not sure what they really even are, other than they're celebrating their 40th anniversary, these corn chips. 
all this stuff in here I just want to buy. I don't even know why. It's just very appealing to me. Look at all the colors and the koalas. The koala march. Who would not want to eat this? Dream animals. I love dreaming when I take naps and sleeping. So these have my name on them. Dream animals. It's almost like animal crackers, but they're the dream-like versions. Hello, panda. Man, all this stuff looks so good. For real, this is the best marketing ever. Put a happy child on some candy, and I will buy it. I'm not going to buy it, but I'm very tempted. Now, I've had Pocky before, but I've never tried Bing Bing. Whoa, look at this gum. I'm going to buy this. I love gum. Look at this. There's a little frog on there. These are noodle cookers, and if you don't like cooking noodles at home, then I say you're a little cuckoo. Chew and real. Chew and real. Chew and real. <laughs> I love this marketing campaign of this hot air balloon and then the products in the bottom of it. Baked red bean cake. All this stuff looks so good. I mean, for real, who would not want to spend their money on this? How cute is that? The frozen food department's awesome too. Look, these ice cream sandwiches look like fish. I'm not even kidding. There's ice cream inside the fish. Man, if only I wasn't on this diet. I think I'm gonna get these too. This comes with a free children's sticker inside. Vlog over.